So the team that I honestly think is the biggest threat to NAU from Nuttycomb and Prenats is the Arkansas Razorbacks. Like, I think I might right. end up breaking Arkansas number two in the country. They, if you look, they are six deep, right? McLeod was 47th. Yeah. So they're six deep. Just good for, for who, figuring out who your fifth is. But more importantly, I've done the research. If you have the best number four runner on race day, you're going to win the national championship. And right now, the number four runner for Arkansas is Emmanuel Chebosun, a Louisville transfer. Mm-hmm. He's run 1341 in a 5K. He's run, yeah. what does he run in a 10K? He's run 2842 in a 10K. And this is going to be a track meet. This is a fast course. And Kemboy, boy, Quebec, Quebec's like a miler. Chebosun, yeah. McLeod, Ryan, uh, Mc, and a few other guys, they're very fast track guys. And I really do think, you know, it's going to help Arkansas to be on this course. Yeah. And I think if it's fast and NAU falters, Arkansas is going to be the team that I think takes the victory. They got legit track guys. Amon Kemboy's running in the 1330s. Boyd's running 1340s. Yeah. Jefferson's running 1340s, you know? So... Arkansas, to me, proved, hey, we are the, the scary team. Okay, but here's how I would push back against that was I know they weren't going full tilt. I know NAU is not going full tilt here, but they just raced on this exact course, and NAU scored half as many points as them. The track meet advantage okay. probably should have manifested itself today, correct? It's not like they ran in Terre Haute today from November 2019 conditions with mud, right? They, they ran the course that they're going to run in November, and they got their score cut in half by NAU. Yeah, but Arkansas had the second-best four-man here, right? Their four-man was 31st. Sure. NAU's yeah. four-man was 20th. And the, the, okay. if you look at the time difference, some of the time, the, the time difference between – their number three runner and number four runner was pretty yeah. close to George Kuz, who's 20. So, like, I could see I'm not, if I'm not counting them use four I'm not or five run, run like five seconds slower each, Arkansas yeah, yeah. could move up drastically. That's all I'm saying. Listen, I'm not, I'm not counting them out. And I like the fact that they have a good sixth person who is 47, just a few spots behind their, yeah. their fifth person. They don't have a cliff situation. A lot of teams have a cliff and they, yeah. you fall off of it and you're, Fallen for a while before you hit. Arkansas appears to not have that. All I'm saying is, I don't think, like, I think we can already sort of factor in what it, how they're going to perform on the course because we saw that today. I don't think we can adjust as much. Now, do they just have the straight up talent to compete with NAU and beat them in, in three weeks? Yeah, I, I think you're 100% right. I just, I just would need to see more. And, you know, we're not going to see anything between now and nationals. So, NAU is going to go in as a favorite. I think that's the, the, the bottom line here, right? Women, it's, it's closer. So you can then look at regional performances and conference performances and make an argument and say, oh, Orton's back now for BYU and she blew everybody out of the water. Or look how fast Hannah Steelman is. If you go back and you put in the, her in the spreadsheet like Gordon had, then, then NC State's even better. But with the men, I think it's pretty clear NAU is a favorite. Doesn't mean they can't get upset. Don't get those two things confused. But I think NAU, when you score half of what everybody else does in, with, with a tougher field, I think you're going to always be the favorite. Unless somebody's holding something out that we don't know about. Yeah, I'm basically saying like Arkansas is finishing no worse than third. 